Colleen, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, this movie took so long to finally come to fruition. For you, was this something when you heard that this was a movie that wanted to be made and for you to come up with the actual costumes for a movie like this. Talk to me about your experience and why this is such an amazing achievement for you. Well, it's a dream achievement because in the beginning I started working on costumes in New York, but I never did a play. I started working in film and I progressed in film and at that time the theater was sort of in decline in New York and so there wasn't work in the theater except for a very select group of people. So it was my dream, like something that kind of came around that I dreamed of, you know, 20 years ago when I first started out. So it was a great, you know, chance to get to have a full circle with it. Was it a really difficult film or in terms of the costumes? Because there's so many costumes and that's something, you, the one, first thing you think of when you think of the movie. It was really difficult film and it was like doing two films at once because you do the sort of straight film that's the normal story and you do the music film and you do them at the same time. So it's very complicated and lots, you know, hundreds and hundreds of costumes. Thank you, next question was number 60. Could you hold your cards up so the mic handles can, number 60, thank you. Colleen, congratulations. Uh, Thank Jonathan, you. Jonathan Mom with News 10 out of Sacramento. I was just wondering, uh, Chicago, of course, it, it's been the very successful modern musical, but it started out as a play, you know, in the 20s. It's been a couple of movies, a silent film, and then one with Ginger Rogers. Did any of the earlier incarnations of the story, um, uh, um, uh, d did that give you any inspiration at all for, for what you did, or, or did you completely start out uh, on your own? No, I think that. I did, um, especially the, um, the Ginger Rogers movie, um, I kind of was inspirational to me in some ways because I, I thought that the, the use of the black and white in the courtroom dress was a great theme for the, you know, for what was going on and I, I really, you know, paid homage to that with uh, Renee's dress in the court scene. And then, of course, the Fosse, the first play, uh, Pat Ziprod was a costume designer and um, the, there were moments and moods in the costumes and that set in its time that I didn't exactly use but I liked the attitude which he designed the play and, and so I sort of used that as sort of shabby or costumes and things like that. So it was, it was I looked at them all. <laughs> and one more question, number 28 please. Well sorry but that was part of my question so I have oh. to to create a new one. <laughs> it's uh, the hairdos and uh, the costumes that uh, Katharina Sita Jones is on the film is inspired by the, let's suppose C. Charis on Singing in the Rain or uh, Colin Moore on one of the films of the 20s or it's just the way you create watching the, uh, the show on New York. No, no. It, the Catherine's hair in the film was definitely an homage to to the more the old films and the f sort of flapper haircuts of the period than the play itself. It was it was definitely a choice and you know a look that we really wanted for her in the film. And you know it was difficult because everyone loves her long hair. So in the beginning there was a lot of debate back and forth about it. But in the end she felt very strongly about it and it was part of her character. You know. You design a dress for a movie. You have to look around what's on, on the decoration, let's suppose the colors of the, uh, the, the walls or something like that. You always have to figure out according to the designer of the uh, set decoration or you just work by yourself with your ideas and your colors. No, I think, you know, costume designing for a movie, you have to realize walking in the door that it, you can go design the most beautiful dress in the world, but if it looks doesn't go with the couch and the lighting doesn't look good with it, then you're in big trouble and it doesn't look good no matter what. So especially in the case of Chicago, when you're dealing with theatrical lighting and film lighting together, you collaborate way ahead of time about the colors, the materials, and all those things before you actually make the costumes. Thank you very much. Beautiful job. Thank you. Yes, and congratulations. Thank you again.